It may have been a lean season so far for the Western Bulldogs, but one of their five wins did come against North Melbourne in round seven at Etihad Stadium. It was a sluggish start from both sides until Tony Dixon made a free kick count. The mature age recruit, and that's a mature age finish. That seemed to galvanise the Kangaroos. Around the body, Petrie. North Melbourne have got their first, finally. North Melbourne responding with two quick majors. Wells, well, that was terrific. He crumbed. He didn't break stride, and he gets the ruse second. Sean Attlee was punished for an uncharacteristic fumble. Stolen by Addison, something out of nothing. The Bullies have got their second. While Drew Petrie showed how to hang on to the ball, no matter what. Petrie has two. If Dixon was the old hand, the Dogs also had at least one young pup with a few tricks. Here's the first game, Italia. Take it on, young man. He does take it on. What about that? for your first goal in footy. The Roos took a two-point lead into the first break but lost it soon after. John Syracuse goes bang. Tom Campbell made it three unanswered goals for the underdogs. The doggies are barking. Before the Kangas turn to their goal-scoring machine to steady the ship. He gathers from on the 50 and gets North Melbourne going. Petrie's got his third. But there was some real tenacity in the Bulldogs' outfit. Addison slotting his second to retake the lead before Sam Gibson narrowed the gap with a superb set shot. Gibson. Can he bring it back to within a point? Wonderful kick. Well played. The lead changed hands several times. Neither side able to open up a significant gap. Harper's kicked a goal in this term already. Make it two in this term. But it was North Melbourne finishing the half with their noses in front. A four-point lead at the main break. Brad Scott's half-time talk had the desired effect early in the third term. From nowhere, a terrific finish in the end from Garlett. Brent Harvey giving his side their biggest lead of the afternoon. And the Champ delivers. North Melbourne up by three goals. John Syracuse combined nicely with Dixon to keep the Bulldogs in the hunt. Should be into the open goal and the Bullies get one back, back to a two-goal margin. But Petrie dished up goal number 51 for the season at just the right time. And he kicks it. Through it goes. The full forward adding another after the three-quarter siren to give North Melbourne a 24-point buffer at the final change. He's on 51 for the season, tied with Buddy Franklin. He goes past Buddy Franklin. The Roos flex their muscles early in the fourth term, Liam Anthony finding the big sticks before Robert Tarrant sent one skidding through. At the back, Tarrant played that beautifully. There's another one. Now the lead is six goals for North. And as the Kangas found their running game, the Bulldogs were left scrambling. How's this going to sit? It's going to sit very nicely, thank you very much. With percentages likely to play a big role in determining the top eight, North Melbourne ruthlessly pressed the advantage. The Roos cracking the ton when Lockie Hansen made it six unanswered goals for the term. The procession continued with a hat trick for Tarrant. They bagged the four points and Tarrant, he's bagged three. Before Jared Grant gave the Bulldogs fans something to celebrate. But the damage had already been done. The Kangas completely dominating the final turn. The old one too. What about the finish? There it is. North Melbourne running away with a 54-point victory after a tight first half to give their finals race a healthy shot in the arm. Melinda Farrell, Big Pond Sport.